Desert X's preview of this year's exhibition is underway right now. Several art exhibits are scattered all over the Coachella Valley, ready for people to see and experience. We sent News Channel 3's Marion Bouchot throughout the desert today to bring you a first-hand look at the art. She's joining us live right now at one of the exhibits in Palm Springs. Marion. Hey there, Karen. So this is one of the more immersive experiences. I don't have a whole lot to show you just because the event is going to start later on tonight. People are going to be lining up here within the next hour or so. But I'll just this is actually part of the exhibit. Uh, I. I wish I could tell you much more about it. It's definitely much more complex and in-depth than I could possibly tell you right now. But we do have that to look forward to, so I'll be bringing you that later on at 6. But earlier today, I did get the chance to talk with Desert X organizers about this year's exhibition and what people should expect. We were all kind of living life through a screen the last few years, and this is, I think, really a fight against that. Desert X is back in the Coachella Valley for its fourth edition. It's a recurring site-specific international art exhibition. We do have big sculptures, but I hope we associate it with um, really big hearts. As co-curator of the 2023 exhibition, Diana Campbell helped choose this year's artists. Suggest artists that I thought, like me, since I grew up in Southern California, could connect to this landscape and artists from this landscape that could connect to a global landscape uh, when it comes to how do we make these invisible forces driving the world visible through art. There are 12 art installations across the valley made by artists from all over the world. The immersive works span sculpture, painting, film, environmental activism, and so much more. The desert has so many themes, right? But I think if we had to crystallize it into one thing, like, you know, what happens with the meaning of opposites? Something is generated. This year's exhibition runs through March 4th through May 7th. It is free and open to the public. Starting Saturday, the map of the 2023 exhibitions will become available on Desert X's website and their app. You can do it your own way. Uh, check out the map, see what you want to discover first, and you can draw your own itinerary and drive through the exhibition, spend half a day on it, the full day, come back and return. Executive Director of Desert X, Jenny Gill, says more than two years of work went into this year's exhibition. We do all of this because we really believe in um, offering an experimental spaces for artists and by doing that and bringing art outside of the museum and into the public space we've discovered that we've created new audiences for contemporary art. Working to inspire people to think about different social and environmental themes with every art exhibit. I know people associate Desert X with Instagram. Instagram can be a tool to get people to come see things but it'll feel totally different once you're there. And she is so right in that. It will feel totally different once you're there because I know you all saw these videos of this amazing artwork, but you have to go see it in person to really experience it and just appreciate the artwork. So if you want to learn more about the art exhibits, the artists, and the meaning behind all that work, you can head to our website, katesq.com, and there we'll also have the link to Desert X's website where tomorrow the map will be available for all the exhibits. Live in Palm Springs, Miriam Bouchot, News Channel 3.